What's good everybody? It's your boy D all the way G coming back at y'all with another hit video. In this video I want to talk about salt. Now we all use salt for different things. We use salt to put on our food. We use salt for snow and ice whenever there's a blizzard. And we also use salt when we get our asses kicked in a fighting game. Now I love salt. I love salt because I love seeing a salty upset face of my opponent once I beat him good in a one-on-one -on -one player match. Or I love it when I'm hearing the opponent through the microphone shout at the top of their lungs like they're in some type of labor. Man, I gotta keep it a buck. It is a good feeling and sometimes we can even rub it in, right? Now, what about when you get your ass kicked and experience a salty loss? But I'm gonna tell y'all something. Salt is actually pivotal in the fighting game world because it actually shows that he or she has a passion for the game. Man, I've seen people break their controllers. I've seen people rage quit. I've seen and heard people call someone the B word 200 straight times because they were losing. And I've even seen people bust their stream monitors when they had a salty defeat. So why do I think salt is a good thing when you're talking about fighting games? Well, I'm going to give you the reasons to that right now, so let's get into the shit. For starters, one of the things is, is realization. During the match, one thing that can cause saltiness is when either you or the opponent realize that they did something wrong. Maybe it was a wrong move, maybe it was a wrong read. Or you just did something just unnecessary that caused the opponent to take advantage of it, burn you for it, and turn the match around. That can cause some real saltiness. So basically, all in all, when this happens, you just realize that you messed up somewhere during the match. And then, you know, that's okay because you can either learn from it so the next time you can make the proper action or a more necessary action. Or if you don't learn from it, you can make the same mistake again and you're going to get salty all over again. And another reason for explosive saltiness is just because a lot of us have a deep commitment for the game or the game in general. Some people just love to play the game, so basically they're going to be committed to it because it shows that they care, right? They care about being there, they care about playing the game, they care about the character, everything. They care about what they're doing, so when they lose in a match, you know, that all comes out. That commitment all comes out. And it's really like a stride. It's a stride, okay, you know what, I lost, but you know what, I'm going to get better. Or, you know, it's kind of like they're kind of saying, I don't want to go down like this. Let's get right back at it. So commitment is another reason for saltiness. That's why I say it's okay. The saltiness also shows work ethic. And I'm going to keep it a buck. When I go into a training mode of a fighting game, I even get salty in a training mode. And the reason why is, is because if I'm trying to get something down and can't do it, or if I'm trying and trying and trying at it, you know, it's just all about the work ethic. You work so hard to accomplish a certain structure or a certain pattern that you like to do, you're going to get salty until you get it, until it's stapled in your head, until you are confident enough that you can go in real time and perform it. So work ethic is also a reason for saltiness because when you go out, perform it in a tournament or wherever and you don't get that down after working hours on it, that's going to cause some saltiness. But it's all about the work ethic and it shows that players put work in what they do in that fighting game. And salty outbursts also proves that you or your opponent is engaged in the game. They are engaged in the game, they're in a zone in the game, and let me ask y'all something. Do y'all honestly want to go up against someone that is totally not engaged in the game and totally just does not give a shit and just totally is just pressing buttons like, you know, they're just doing it just to be doing it? I don't think so. And another thing about the engagement part of it, I know y'all come across players that show that fake engagement which actually is disengagement you know the players like oh uh, you know hey I got my ass kicked but I feel really great about the way that I play hey that is fake it's phony it's just fake nicenesses that player just was not engaged in the game he was just probably there at that event just because their friends were there so watch for that 
always be finding someone that is engaged in the game because if you're not you're gonna have an empty feeling and you're not gonna have a lot of fun so watch for disengagement as well but when players are engaged they're gonna go for some saltiness and you're gonna see it and that's a good thing is because like I said all that I've shown above commitment passion all of that that is what it is and that's what creates salt that's why I love it so those are my reasons for loving the salt ingredients on fighting games right there and as I said man salt is an absolute good thing because it's about passion it's about work ethic and realization so let me know what you think about my reasons for liking the salt and also let's get a discussion going man tell me about y'all you know salty experiences or if y'all witnessed uh, an explosive salty event whichever one let's get a discussion going see what turns out other than that you know uh, show some love for this video subscribe to my channel if y'all got the time as always i'm gonna come back with another video pretty soon but as for right now my name is d all the way g see y'all next time i'm out peace Make sure y'all like this video. Don't make me get salty now.